Welcome to this episode where we will learn what is a code and how does it works. So whenever you grab your smartphone, your phone sort of does nothing until you tell it to do. It waits for you and it just keeps on waiting for you. Similarly, all the hardware computer technology around you is also generally waiting from your input. And therefore, what I would like to say is that if you don't understand this technology your whole life, then it is ultimately a loss. Moreover, today we can see that computers are taking control of our lives increasingly. Therefore, if we want to reverse this process, we need to tell computers what to do. And for that, we know we need programming. Now, as we will see, these computers are not very smart on their own. We humans are the ones that imbibe them with knowledge. And therefore, we need to learn to speak in their language because it is much easier for us to learn their language than for them to learn our language. Although the latter has been made very easy with the evolvement of large language models such as ChatGPT, etc. So I am bringing you into something where you are going to learn the various ways of programming in the field of water resources and environmental engineering because it's still very much easy to teach you how to program rather than to teach your PC or your smartphone. So a part of what I'm trying to do is move you from a user perspective where you just look at the computer as something that someone else has constructed and you are the user of to the point where you construct new things. In this course, the first things that you are going to construct are actually to solve your own problems. And so that's the basic idea that you will initially use computers to serve your own ends. That makes it a lot easier to write programs because you don't have to worry about a million users using your software. If it works for you, then you should be happy. Therefore, whenever you want to create a software that multiple people will use, then it takes a little more training to write those codes because thousands and thousands of other people have to understand that. You should accept one fact that when I start teaching you this stuff, it's not going to make sense for a few videos if you are not very used to this kind of programming. So just sort of bear with me, except I mean that I remember when I first learned it, I went from confused, 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 confused to this is awesome. And so I expect many of you will go through the same thing. So just learn the first part, accept the fact that it does not necessarily make sense in a big picture initially, but slowly it will improve. In the next video, we are going to learn a bit more about how the code works through the computer's hardware architecture. Stay tuned.